In today's video, we're going fossil hunting after a storm. We find an absolutely enormous ammonite nodule, which we extract from the beach and our dad fully prepares. We've got the fully finished specimen to show you at the end of the video. Not only that, but we find lots of other fossils along the way. I hope you enjoy it. I've come out fossil hunting today. The first thing we're going to do is have a look at the big shale fall, which I'll show you in just a moment. After that, we're going to head up further up the beach and see what we can find. There's a few pretty big slabs here that have been washed across the beach by the tide. However, the main fall itself is right over here. Look at the size of that. Let's go have a look and see if there's any fossils to be found. Initially, I've just picked up this little piece of shale. It's got some iron pyrite within it. It's not too uncommon, but it's a pretty interesting appearance. Let's look for some more fossils though. There's already been a few people down on the beach having a look. However, I'm pretty sure there should be some fossils laid around for us to find as well. A lot of these slabs look fresh out. Even if there's no 3D fossils, there should be some nice examples that are squashed flat. Some more of the iron pie right there. there as well of course that's not what we're looking for but it's still nice to see there's absolutely loads of fossils all just in this little area here I've noticed there's loads of compressed ammonites on the surface of this slab and on the opposite side of this huge lump of shale there's a really large ammonite that someone started to expose this first I suppose it's been a big slab of shale initially, but it's naturally been split by the sea. It's exposed a large ammonite fossil. Lots of smaller ammonite specimens as well. Still pretty nice detail, but of course they're all compressed, completely flat. And lots of nice shells. So as you can see, that there's a pretty nice selection of fossils. In between the next crack, there's also a few more. Mainly shells more than anything else, as well as a couple of ammonites. And then the biggest fossil that we've found so far is around here. Might be pretty obvious where the fossil is, but I'll give you a second to try and spot it. Pretty easy to see, but the large ammonite is right up there. Let's get a closer look at it. Look at the size of that specimen. That is really large. You can see a few chisel marks where someone's tried to reveal a little part of the fossil. And it's been left here really nicely for everyone to see as they walk along. Really nice example. In one of the slabs, I've noticed a large nodule with what looks to be a perfect ammonite showing. So let's go and reveal it and see what's inside. This looks like part of a fragma cone. And just slightly above that, I've noticed here, perfect ammonite. At first I thought someone might have tried to extract it already but I think that's just the natural marking on the rock. So I think this should be pretty easy just to tap out with the hammer and chisel. Just loosen the shale slightly. The nodule should almost be ready to come out. There we 
go. Whoa, look at the detail on that. That is absolutely perfect. Complete all the way to the mouth border. That's a really, really nice example. As well as this specimen, I also have found a smaller nodule with pretty compressed ammonite inside. And this nodule, much bigger, with what appears to be most likely a complete ammonite specimen, potentially a little bit crushed, although given the size of the nodule, I'm hopeful that the specimen inside will be 3D. So we'll definitely have to be opening these up pretty soon. Just walking along and I've spotted a nice block full of fossil bones. I'm not entirely sure what they are at the moment, but I'll walk along and see if you can spot them as well. Have you seen where they are? The bones are in shot right now. Give you a few more moments just to check whether you've seen them or not. These bones are right down here. Let's see what they are. Looks to me like gyrosteus bones from one of the big sturgeon fish that used to live in the Jurassic. Some pretty sizable lumps of bone and cartilage within this block. Pretty nice find. Great. It's a pretty nice big block of coral, which I've just noticed. Let's see if you can spot where this is. Again, potentially quite an easy one, but there's the block right there. As you get closer, can notice some of the lovely features of the coral. I'll show you a better close-up of it now as well. This is a really lovely example. Lots of really clear definition. See some of the stems long way there, and some of the others are cross sectioned. Quite a nice variety of specimens here, really. Quite a lot of it is pretty nondescript, but on this side, lots of nice features to see. I've just come over to another part of the beach and I've noticed a really large nodule. There looks to be a huge ammonite preserved inside it, but it looks pretty crushed. After we've had a look for some more fossils, let's open it up and see what's inside. It's a pretty big nodule though, so it might be quite a task. It's another nice nodule I've spotted, or at least a potentially nice nodule. I'll pan along and see if you can find where it is. see where it is. This nodule looks to be right there and I'm hoping it's got a nice fossil inside. Oh yeah, it's got a large dactyloceros inside it. That's great. 
this naturally sea-worn stone has several ammonite specimens and even a belemnite specimen all on the surface. They look pretty nice. One of the only belemnite fossils that we've seen today. Overall, we've found a great selection of fossils today. We've had a few really lovely, perfect ammonites within nodules, as well as a few compressed fossils within the shale. There's also that really large, suspicious nodule, which we're going to be opening up very shortly. The next thing we're going to do is crack open the nodules that we have already found on the beach. After we have opened those up, we're going to go and inspect the larger fossil a lot more closely. There's still lots to look forward to in today's video. Let's open up those nodules. This is the first nodule which we found, the one that was in that shale slab that we knocked out with the hammer. It proved quite difficult to open up and the specimen inside, as you'll see, unfortunately it wasn't very well preserved whatsoever. Still looks quite nice, but I was expecting it to be a lot more well defined inside the nodule. The center of the ammonite was just paper thin, completely crushed. This is another nodule that we found just nearby. Again, really difficult to open up. You can see the edge of the ammonite right there, nice and pirateized. And this one was much better preserved inside. This is exactly what we were looking for. Just a little bit of limestone in the centre that we'll need to remove with the tools at home. Lovely sutures as well on that pirateized whirl. These types of ammonites don't get much better than this. We've opened up some really nice ammonites there. I'm really pleased with all of them. Now let's go have a look at that much larger nodule, which I mentioned just a little while ago in the video. I've spotted a really lovely calcified ammonite specimen. Can you see where it is? And actually just below my feet, just out of shot, I've seen a really nice nodule, which looks to have a perfect ammonite inside. The calcified specimen is right over there. We'll have a proper look at that in just a moment. But first off, The nodule I've noticed here, which looks to have a complete ammonite inside. You can see where this one is. Right down there. And it does. Wow, can't believe I walked past that earlier. What looks to be a perfect ammonite inside. Now let's have a look at that calcified specimen. Look how lovely that is. That is so nice. It's only small, but it's a lovely specimen to see. 
This is one I'll be leaving here for other people to see as they walk along. A really nice piece. This nodule here, it's huge nodule, has what looks to be a really large ammonite preserved inside it. There's some part of the outer wall here, a bit more going around the edge, but it looks like the majority of it is probably not preserved very well, it might be completely crushed flat or not even preserved at all. Nothing there. Gosh. Let's have to take a look at this. Oof. Seeing that, that's what I've just literally exposed. Lovely outer edge. That looks really, really promising. However, the block is far too big to carry off in its current state. I'm going to have to remove some more of the rock first. Just revealed this piece now this is what cracked and came away to reveal even more of the outer world this is certainly looking like it could be something absolutely exceptional I really wasn't expecting it to be turning out as well as this this is really exciting well the only thing we can do is remove some more of the limestone Realistically, there's no way this can be rucksacked off in the size it is. It's really, really heavy. I'll remove a bit more limestone, and then we'll, we'll take it in as big a piece as we can. Well, I've reduced it down to a smaller size as best as I can, and I've not looked at it yet. But this piece of limestone has also come away and revealed, hopefully, a nice 3D edged the specimen oh brilliant oh my gosh look at that i am over the moon I've got the perfect edge here comes all the way around and there it is absolutely well hopefully absolutely perfect example of a phyloceros ammonite really really nice piece i found very very few maybe even only one or two in my entire time of fossil hunting phyloceros of this size so i'm absolutely thrilled to have found this that is awesome here's the ammonites we opened up i also opened this little specimen off camera that nice tenucostatum if you compare <laughs> you can see the size difference in these ammonites you can sort of tell what that one's going to look like by the time it's finished really really pleased with today's finds
I'm so happy with how that nodule turned out. I really wasn't expecting it at all. I can't wait to take it home and watch my dad prepare it. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. Well, it's a few days later now, and I've just got home, and my dad has let me know that he's prepared the ammonite. It's been working on it for the past few days and finally it's ready. So let's go have a look at it. I'm really excited to see what the fossil looks like. And here's a look at the fully prepared, finished Phyloceros ammonite. This is really special. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I've only ever found a couple of specimens similar to this but this is by far the best preserved specimen of this type of ammonite that I've ever found. It's a really, really rare piece. Initially, when we'd found it, we were wondering whether the specimen would have been complete all the way to the centre. And it is indeed. The fossil is complete. One of the trickiest parts was removing all the limestone from the soft, delicate shell underneath. But our dad has done an absolutely magnificent job. Just look at the detail on this shell. He's also prepared it all the way down to the centre of the ammonite, as you can see. Not only that, but he's made an incredible mouth border on the ammonite specimen. There's also still some of the suture patterns present as well. They're a really nice feature, which just add to the piece. All in all, we couldn't be much happier with this specimen whatsoever. I'm so glad that we decided to break open that nodule and see if it was complete inside and it's really paid off. It was a lot of effort getting this piece to where it is today, but it's been absolutely worth it. Let us know down in the comments what you think about this specimen. Just to round off the video, I've got a scenery shot from today's fossil hunt. It was quite stormy. Hope you enjoy this, and we will see you in the next video.